It's the next year on podtech.net. I'm Matt Kelly. We're here in the GM Heritage Center, and I'm joined today once again by Greg Wallace. He is manager of the GM Heritage Center. And Greg, we're talking about GM's rich heritage of alternative fuels and pursuing that technology. It goes back several decades, beginning with the 1966 Electrovan Hydrogen. Yeah, General Motors has always been concerned about uh, uh, the next wave of fuel and emission savings. Uh, if you go back to the early 70s uh, with the uh, advent of the uh, catalytic converter and such, GM has, has uh, really led the way in uh, uh, eliminating a lot of the, the uh, emissions that vehicles have made. Uh, in the 60s, they were always looking at other alternative fuels. Uh, I don't think that's changed uh, even throughout the years, but uh, this is a hydrogen-powered uh, Chevrolet Electrovan. This is just amazing. I remember, you know, my parents having one of these vans. It wasn't the hydrogen powered at the time. So when you open this up and you get a chance to take a look at the insides, it's quite a bit different than the consumer version that was out on the market at the time. Absolutely. And it's almost got a, a, a really high tech uh, um, uh, spaceship feel to it, if you will. Uh, and uh, you can you can see from the uh, gauges and from all the plumbing and the wiring that it is a, a very high tech uh, automobile, uh, even for today's standards, but even in the, in the 60s as well. The first hydrogen vehicle, if you can imagine that, dating back to 1966, literally 40 some odd years ago. Absolutely, it is amazing. And as we move along then, uh, another version of uh, uh, an electric style vehicle that GM was pursuing was the Hydrover, the Corvair? The Electrover. The uh, Electrover. Uh, they took a Corvair uh, standard hardtop four-door uh, Corvair and, uh, and made it uh, electrified it. So it's uh, completely electrical. Uh, it has a range of somewhere around 80 miles, depending on how it's driven. Mm. And, uh, you know, the, the same things uh, um, that concern us with electric-powered vehicles today were then uh, as well. And it was uh, battery uh, longevity and, and battery uh, charge uh, cycle life. So. It's a very unique vehicle, and, uh, and it showed that uh, these things are possible, and GM's going back and uh, looking at these things all over again. And the year of this vehicle, is it also 1966? Yes, it is. Love the Corvair style. It's one of my favorite vehicles. To see it here as an Electrovair uh, is just absolutely stunning to see, and I've enjoyed my trip down memory lane and a little bit of uh, education here at the same time, too. Greg Wallace, always a pleasure being in your company. You have so much to add to every story that we do. The pleasure's all mine. Greg Wallace, manager of the GM Heritage Center. I'm Matt Kelly for the next year on podtech.net.